Colorado is at a different stage in their journey and in their process. But Arizona State is taking small victories in that matchup against a quality Colorado squad. It's a great opportunity here at home. Bonley jumps, tips it, ends up in the hands of Jaden Simmons. She just went over a thousand points for her career. She was honored before the game. Had a quiet game a couple of nights ago, though. That's a pick to click. Maybe she heats up today. Running the offense. Brown will spot up from three, comes up short. Not sure if they got a piece of that one or not. Great closeout by Frida Foreman on that three-point attempt. Brown is fearless. She will shoot. Be ready. She'll shoot a lot. She's already ready to bear that burden. With some presence in the middle. Jump ball. Possession alternates. The Buffaloes hang on to it. Early on in this game, you can see that point of emphasis for Colorado is going to be trying to get the ball inside. There's J.R. Payne, as we talked about. Well, her building's really gone on the last couple of years. All of a sudden, from a team in conference that grew but couldn't win it consistently in conference, they do now. This is, they're in the upper penthouse of this conference. In season eight, Coach Payne has done a phenomenal job of building a national program that can compete at the highest levels. Yet that 3-0 start in conference play has eluded them since the mid-90s. That's what would be crazy about today. You know, you talk about climbing as far as they are hoping to do and then talk about building natasha's done it a couple of times she's laying the foundation here did it at georgetown look they won four games her first year she left with 17 wins and then on she went did the same thing at delaware she'll do it here too maddie nolan handling the offense Runley takes it shares the basketball miller ready to watch her work she freed up but comes up short Creates a second chance for herself, and she'll go to the line. Doesn't go to the line as much as you might think. This is only her 21st trip to the line. When Quay has evolved her game over the last couple of seasons, she used to be more... Simmons spots up. Just off the elbow there. Colorado Jade. will take every opportunity to get out in transition. Defense starts their offense. You talked about that. Push the basketball as they run the set. Nolan ends up double teamed. We talked about Miller. She's floating right now outside the perimeter, as you mentioned. It didn't need green. Getting to the elbow and taking a nice pull up jumper. That's going to open up the floor for her teammates. The advanced metrics are on her side 2.7 win shares, which means alone she has been good with her play to dive deep to nearly three wins with the way she's helped the team. Great help slide by Colorado. A nice extra pass created a three look, and you're exactly right underneath, but another chance for the Devils. That one turned over. It's great to see Chris on the floor today after injuries to sustained in Friday's game. I was questioned even this morning, but then we got confirmation. Always good news. Boy, that was pretty underneath. Her ability to play athletic as Chris comes up short and off the mark. With, with Miller and Vonley, as you mentioned, those are two presences in the paint who are growing their game in other ways. Early breather for the Buffaloes, and they're flexing with their depth just a little bit by making that decision as well. Looking to score Brown, and she does. Breaks out of the with the basketball in her hand. Pretty extra pass sets up a three, but it's firm and off the mark. Nice box out by Arizona State, gets them out in transition. Simmons made it look easy where she grew up. Telegraph pass, it's picked off. Souza looking for a little bit of help. She's got some. Stop, pop, and a kind roll at home. The 6-0 run by Arizona State, again, the catalyst has been their defense. Well, Jay Dare looks out. They can rely on her on that low close, whether she's in single covered or double. Penetrate. Jalen, a 7-3%. But has stepped right into Arizona State. Now she's in Baltimore, Maryland. Turnover forced Devils. Looking like a different team. They find the score in the corner. And a chance. Forcing the turnover. Turning the tide a little bit on this Colorado team. And in an excellent cross-court look to Jalen Brown. Beautiful play. A late closeout by Whitaker. Three for Brown. Sarah Rose Smith whistled for the foul, the Australian, and the four does not come together, but a big bucket of three. You could hear it. You could hear it rip through the twine. That was a beautiful stroke. With a defender right on her, enough to foul her. When you just look at Brown's length, it allows her to get that shot off, even with a, a high contest. 
What beautiful look on a give and go to the bucket and taking advantage of the other end is Bonley. Again, she's so active. Excellent pick and roll game between Weta. Look at Simmons out front. Good vision to get it to her. Payne cannot be happy with the transition defense for her Colorado squad. They need to do a much better job of stopping the ball in transition. Cutting hard to the back. Her inside presence is one of the things that is a big difference in this game. Nice pass, by the way, by Kendall Weta to set that up. Kiss off the glass. One of the reasons Sosa is in the starting lineup, she has the ability to score. We're moving now. Because that is what their their whole identity is, the defensive end for Colorado Buffaloes. Kadisha Torre comes into this game. First free throw attempt is good. That's Maddie Nolan. She's from Indiana. And she broke her mom's scoring record at Zionsville High School. She went past mom, Chris. And scored 1,361 points. I love that part of her family story. She's uh, one of those gym rats that knows the game really well and is a key cog to this Colorado team. Transferred from Michigan, but brother Luke, soccer player at DePaul. Luke's switching it up a little bit. A great athlete, though. What a, what a fun family. Guessing competitive during family gatherings. Speaking of competitive, boy, it's fun. Coming out of St. Francis Academy was a four-star prospect. You can see why. On Friday, she already has 12 points in this ball game. Miller well off the mark. Fortunate bounce for Foreman. And then there's Johnny on the spot. She's also developed her face-up game, that 10 to 12-point range. She has a nice, nice jumper. Chris turning the corner, trying to find Tom. And she had an open player for a second, just did not execute the pass. Somebody missed it as a squad. It's interesting, though, when you deal with a team like that, is that's an empty possession. Look at the vision from Sherrod. One more pass. They got it in the right hands, didn't they? Here comes Simmons. Off to her left. Nice job defensively on the other end. And it looks pretty bleak. It doesn't look bleak at all. Now a strong statement by the Devils. They've got to keep it up. For 40 minutes. One extra pass and a great look. And there's Smith, as you talked about. So it was a 9 0 lead, and then all of a sudden, ASU edged hard, firm, and crisp. Then an 8 0 run. We hope to be able to see her come back on the court. It looks like she got taped up and is back on the bench. So I anticipate she'll be able to go back in. She's been scoring a lot, although the improvement this year has been incredible. In her college debut a couple of years ago for Arizona against Cal State Northridge, she was 7 of 8 from the floor, scored 14. First time she ever laced them up as a college basketball player. Nice job defensively. Well, that was a tough look. Second chance, how about that? But an offensive rebound. It was a big board, but she couldn't convert. The depth certainly will be tested for these Sun Devils. And it's great opportunities, though, for sophomores playing in big minutes. Miller will go to the line. You bring a good point up because you were extolling the virtues, and it may not be that that they need right now. Yeah, I think this year they would love to see. We saw Von Lay head into the locker room. She is walking. Um, looks like with a little bit of a limp, so hopefully she'll be able to come back and be getting checked out. We're going to get some pretty intense treatment to see if she'll be able to play. Lead time, nine-point lead, Colorado. Miller with four points after those couple of free throws. Shot clock heads towards five again. And Colorado stepping up defensively right now. That's not a good look at all for Chris. Nice stand for the Buffaloes. It's a great call by you. Colorado has stepped up their defensive presence, doing a much better job against this Arizona State offense. In and out of the hands, but it's a turnover. Five turnovers for the Buffaloes, four for ASU. See if they can convert. Brown waiting on that one. Lines up for three, but it's short. The Simmons saw her waiting on it. Nice extra pass that time. Brown does have 12 points, 4 of 10 now from the floor, 1 of 3 from distance. Good job by Arizona State getting back in transition defense. That's what you're talking about with Miller. Yeah, Miller getting, has the ability to be able to get the ball in her hand. She, has, she can score from the three-point line or put the ball on the floor. He's double-double pacing. She's got 6.6 rebounds already. 
taking that responsibility from Vonley and Brown. Arizona State's best scorer, Jalen Brown. Brown is not phased at all. She's taking on that challenge. Vonley back in with Nolan. Nice to see Vonley. Well, that was a quick trip to the locker room. They may have just gone right outside that area there. There's a space where you can maybe stretch and bounce around a little bit. I think she wanted to go and test it behind the doors over there. If you're a Colorado Buffaloes fan, you have to be smiling. A sigh of relief. Ankles. Oh boy. As you said, such a part of the game. I'm sure you had to battle through it. The nemesis for a basketball player. You know, Shiraz is one of those players that tests the temperature. When she needs to score, she will score. When she needs to assist and share the ball, she will. You start to think, okay. This team that played to the Sweet 16 last year, nice defensive stop. They want to play deeper than that this year, and you can understand why a Sherrod penetrates a banner or nothing, right? You love to hear alum win a championship. She would love to see them, the quality of human beings they have on this roster. That is so much fun. Well, it's contagious. Her teammates see that energy and that competition, competitive nature, and they want to do the same. Offensive foul. Rods. And you can tell, I think that that's actually going to get her just to play even harder. Daughter of Tamika and Michael Sherrod, Ramsey High School in Birmingham, Alabama. We knew of her a lot then. Having an incredible issue on the other end is 5 of 6 as well. That's the first miss from the line. Uh, 8 of 9 on the line. There's a possession by the Sun Devils. Anticipation leads to a steal. Smith all the way. Pick six. And her great anticipation by Sarah Rose Smith, showing her versatility, has the ability to defend, get out in the passing lanes. And if you're Arizona State, you need to do a much better job with your passes. You can't throw loopy passes because Colorado will make you pay. It's an 11 0 run, and things getting maybe a little bit discouraging, at least at this point in the game. Colorado flexing right now. Thought about the three, thinks twice, and that was a turnover. The number has started to climb for ASU. They're at nine now. Smith sets. It's a big bounce, creates an opportunity for an offensive rebound. Had a couple of points in six minutes in the win in Tucson on Friday in the 21 WNIT. Jed, 10 and 9 against Denver, and they get another chance. There's Smith again, so active on the glass, both offensively and defensively, and creates another possession for her Colorado Buffaloes. This is fun. We've got Sherrod and Sadler on the floor at the same time, by the way. Love that. That one rings. That looked like that had gone all the way in before coming out. Fun to see these two energetic guards work together for the Buffaloes. Not too impressed, though. That, that's exactly what Jalen Brown says. Put anybody you out there, you're out there. I'm looking to score. Exactly, and that's the first look that she's had in a minute. Nice. Whitaker. Sherrod in transition. If you don't pick her up at the three-point line, she's going to make you pay. And she did there. Brown's got 16 points. She is one of four from distance. Would be, I, I would think that challenge that churns within her. How much do I need to do? What should I do? How do I stay within my game five? Taken right out of her hands. Sherrod fires it to her teammate and along the baseline. That one's off the mark. It's, it's, a, it's a tough burden for Brown the way we're watching. If you think about it, you have Brown and loves. <laughs> you don't want to go down that way. Take away their best play. She was part of when they climbed out of a 9-0 hole to open this game. Really quickly made it a game after the first time out. New Zealand. It's a great volleyball player, too. Miller's three-pointer is a man. Clay Miller, Maddie Nolan, they all have their hands on their hips or hands on their thighs. Savonley a moment ago got those 18 points. That was a fun matchup. Sherrod at Simmons. Penetrates, gives it to Whitaker, a miss on a layup. She'll look for another chance. Has three right around her. It comes up empty. ASU team, Jaden Simmons. Here we were talking about Southwest High School. If you go out on a good run, you're going to jog right by a Packers game. Time disappears. Rings in and out. What a great look. 
I hope your Sunday has been a very good one and your weekend as well. I'm always curious, and I guess we got our answer, like, what are you trying to do as Thompson with a miss along the baseline? Orbit cuts hard to the basket instead. It's a three. Two opportunities. I agree. You don't want to stand around and watch Jalen Brown run around. That's exactly. <laughs> oh, off the glass. 15 times for Colorado overall. Played for the Sweet 16 a year ago. Again, the Weddle goes to the line. 81%. Got the roll. Yeah, it looked like the Colorado State mascot, the Ram, taking out the buff. <laughs> gotta love that. And it was effective, that curtain of distraction. One for two. They can be happy with that. I love the inclusion, inviting a Mountain West team into the curtain, curtain of distraction. <laughs> that rivalry travels, apparently. <laughs> Hanging in the 20 spot in the rankings. This is a program that's spent over 200 weeks in their existence being ranked, talking about Colorado. What a chance to go to the 78% free throw shooter. But looking for her first points today, she's got them. She didn't play in the second half at all, so it's good to see her in the lineup and uh, getting the scores. I didn't see it, but you really, with your words, described it. When you used the word bone crushing, that's all I need to know. Let's see if she likes this one. And actually back into the hands, I should say, of Sadler with good, the miss. Good read of the double by Von. They kicked it right back out for Sadler and open three. Sherrod's watching on the bench. Sadler. 31, or 30, I should say, and 51 on the other side for Colorado. Jenny Thompson. Tried to find Simmons. Crisp. Shot clock below five now. Brown creates her own run. Look to have them in the second half. Let's see if they can extend that run. Foreman runs into a wall, but with Crisp, she spins. Her foreman has improved. In the offseason, she worked with a strength coach to work on her lateral quickness, which allows her to either get her shot off quicker, to get the shot off, in the, off the dribble, and to be a better defender. Rita Foreman, the daughter of Michael and Kevin, whose brothers play in the game. Three again. Ice Jaylen is Brown. heating up like a microwave. Again, you can't leave her open from three. She's a streaky three-point shooter, but if you leave her open, Brown will take it, and she's been able to make it today. She's got 21. Two of six. That's her second three-point make. And no eight. She's got seven points. First free throw attempts of the day, and it comes up short to miss there from Foreman. That's notable. That's her first free throw attempt that she's missed this year. What you love to see is in the last five games what she is doing, and that's showing consistency as she heads into Pac-12 play. This one gets tougher, right? Absolutely. She had 19 against Arizona with eight rebounds, and then 21 against Utah. Frida lines it up. <laughs> and you have to have a short-term memory if you're a shooter, and Frida Foreman is one of the best shooters in the Pac-12 conference. Running out of time. Can she bank home another? You bet she can! All time this series has been Sun Devil dominated, 16 and 12 overall. Colorado at home even is 6 and 7 against ASU. It's been recent success for Colorado. We first met back in 1970. Lighting it up right now. That is a difficult shot. She came off the screen, didn't have a lot of space, but you can tell she just needs a little bit of daylight to get her shot off. Right back with an answer. You mentioned score just a handful of points total last year while playing for Louisville. Simmons goes coast to coast, and she'll go to the line. A little bit of play, too, from Addison Novacell from Ohio, who has come on for ASU. Scored her 1,000th point against Fresno State early in December, and has meant so much to this Arizona State program. Gerard determined to penetrate and share that back. She's either going to get herself an open look or at the bucket or set her teammates up. A couple of point guards working together there when you have Sherrod and... to go in this the third beautiful sharing of the basketball couldn't convert though Nova cell we'll pitch in and send it back the other way Addison St. Francis University transfer Brown again Bang! Wow such a nice score small little victories for the Devils they're five of their last five from the floor nice mid-range jumper a really special player nine rebounds but from the line Five of six, so she's made all but one. 
Anticipation always seems to work for the Gutty Sherrod. Get casual against Jalen Sherrod or Colorado defense's team. They're looking to force you into these lazy passes, allowing them to get in, in passing lanes. A little matchup, Gene Brown, a moment ago. Let's see that again for a moment. Here we go. They swing it around in the zone. Souza having a great game. That is going to open it up for other teammates. I would love to see Sims be a little bit more aggressive offensively as well. That's a new career high for Souza. Get some other players that have been out with little nagging injuries. There's that free throw stroke. Was her previous career high. She's only gotten to nine once. So Miller nine points, nine rebounds as she sits down. Shot clock disappearing. Oftentimes on that track, a loopy pass and letting somebody get in the passing lanes for a steal. It's just pure growth in one year of Brown. I mean, look, she watched the team a lot, didn't play a ton, but went all the way to the Elite Eight. To Arizona State, where this coaching staff sees her potential, and you can see with every game, she's getting much more confidence, and Jalen Brown is going to be a problem in the Pac-12 Conference for years to come. Tried to beat the clock, unable to come up with one. Thompson looking for her first field goal and her first point. She's got a couple of rebounds. Journey came in averaging six with five rebounds a game. Native of Pennsylvania. We're going to get 20 points. Can't get to 21. Thompson. On a Sunday. So this is set a perfect day from the floor. Gives it up that time. Little runner from Simmons. That was pretty. So use that runner when you can't all, get all the way to the basket. Can you stop and pop? Foreman just tried to get it into Vonley. Not crisp enough with the pass. Looking to get the 30. How about 31? From Brown. Sees the double team come over. Use a little bit of a Euro step and steps through the double. Vonley will go to the line. Scoring opportunities. It feels like in the last five games. She makes one of the slapper five. You know, encourage her after the miss. She really didn't want to slap five. After missing that first free throw with eight points. Foreman lines up for another three. Rings in and out. That's her first three-point attempt miss. She's three of four. 75% from the three-point line. I think any of us would take that. There's a couple of points. Celebrating the little things and not just the big victories. Well, they're up 6-2 here in the fourth quarter thus far. Can they win this quarter? That's, that'll be a monumental victory. Foreman there to help her from the, the perimeter. She hasn't been shooting the ball very well from the three-point line. But she's playing strong inside. And seven of eight, a couple of free throw misses. And how about that? The curtain distraction. When she goes inside of that three-point line, she's dealing with almost always two defenders well two things are evident she's getting to the free throw line being really aggressive nine or ten from the free throw line but she has not a little less than six minutes left in this game both teams are very aggressive first free throw make of this quarter in the second unfazed by the curtain <laughs> we'll put your pvc pipes back in your curtains we're not scared says whitaker Top 75 player in the nation upon graduating. Players from last year played a lot of minutes, got a lot of playing time and opportunity and experience. 17 earlier this year with six assists against Idaho State and a win. Whistle prior to. Got the roll, did Miller. Looks like they're getting used to that curtain. Yes, stretch. they are. <laughs> She's got 10 points in the double digits. Didn't work that time. Had about five minutes to go in this one. I'm glad you've hung out with us this afternoon. Hello, fans. I bet you're liking what you are seeing as a whistle. Throw yeah, she's 85% on the game, 17 of 20. Now 17 of 20. The free throw line. Jaden Atchison comes on for Colorado, the freshman, the Texans. And fun minutes for her right now as Miller traveled. It looks like she was able to suit up and play. Brown penetrates. She'll go to the Jalen with 52, 53 points in her last yes. night. Coaching, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, coaching with the Connecticut Sun, uh, Taka, Colorado. It's just great to see these legends of the game. She looks like she can lace it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that she's just coming right out of college. But uh, such a legendary player at the collegiate and WNBA level.
Brown gives the basketball up. And Chris makes a look. Pass right there. Brown had a good look, but it's nice when you pass up a good look for a great look. And that extra pass gave Trayana Chris a wide open three point opportunity. And Chris with 10 points. But also to celebrate that extra assist, that hockey assist that's made that, that comprise a winning program and winning mindset. In Tucson, they're going to go to overtime. Elena Pueyo for Arizona as well as Gilbert, both having great scoring games as well. Should be an interesting overtime period. And yeah, they outscored them by seven in the final quarter. You can tell. Coach just trying to get her some more playing time out there. Uh, doing a good job. And Chris getting to the free throw line. That is her eighth free throw. Structural feels better when you're putting it in the bucket. That confidence is higher. A couple of bodies fly, but in the end, Back the other way comes Jaden. Stops underneath and draws him. Sims looking to stack up a few points. She's got eight on the day. And she misses that. Allowed single digits in a quarter seven times this year. They'd love to keep it. At Stop and pop from three in transition. Kind of like that. Foreman right back the other way did the very same thing. Looks for a teammate a second time, and her teammate misses the layup. Megaliko with the miss that time. Brown. We're under two minutes here. All Colorado needs is a bucket, literally a bucket. Great rotation by Sun Devils. Well, they were the miss. I can't believe what the Sun Devils have done to pull themselves to within single digits if they make a bucket. Another great defensive possession, a great box out. He gives Sosa the entire space against Whitaker one-on-one. -on -one. What vision in that pass, and Whitaker against Whitaker, just too much size. Get the ball in the hands of your playmaker. Chris, 10 points in this quarter. It's blocked. That's too big. So clock is their friend. Chew it up, and then a bucket will ice this thing. Gerard, there's your ice. Now that's going to, uh, I'm sure it already has out there on social media, that's going to grab everyone's attention. A 35, I thought maybe a 38-point afternoon, but not yet. Agaliko Sosa with good vision to find her. She averages just two rebounds a game. She's got five in this one. Still doesn't come up with the first one. Came here from New Mexico Junior College as she misses them both. And on the second half, Colorado will tell you we had to work to earn this one. Conference championships, as Shelly Sheets talked about in practice yesterday. And the Christmas break went into the coach's office and said, look, we need to step it up. We aren't playing the same level of defense. Sarah Payne seeking her 50th win within this conference as a head coach. That should do it. Whitaker will dribble on across as we go under 10. Colorado had some fight from ASU in this second half, certainly. But in the end, it was a dominating victory, 81-68. One of the best teams in the United States played like it today in the Buffaloes. They did. Again, when anytime you can win in the Pac-12 and conference play on the road, this is not an easy trip here to the, the Valley of the Sun. So two big wins for Colorado as they head home.